everyone. So today we're going to be talking a, lo um, a lot about how to hold perfect posture because to me, perfect posture is everything. When we're stooped down and forward in so much pain, we have a tendency to um, lack our ability to metabolize properly because everything is so compressed, especially to our brain to our head, everything needs to be open enough to where we can vibrantly be able to metabolically be efficient and sound, especially through movement. So this past week we did a posture workshop at my facility here, and so I'm gonna kind of share some of the things that I shared with my students at that seminar. So let's first come onto our hands and knees and place your hands just under your shoulders and then knees right under your hips. And then let's just drop our pelvis, belly down, gazing up, shoulders down and away from your ears, and exhale, tuck your spine under, and really pull the navel to the spine, rounding the whole length of your back. Inhale up, and exhale, tuck, 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 and back, and up, inhale and exhale. We use a lot of the Pilates principles because Pilates is so much about posture, alignment, and oppositional force, elongation, movement with breath, all the good things that we learn about body awareness because it all starts with awareness, right? If we don't know that we are to be moving a certain way, we'll never learn. So in this position, I want you to pull out your elbows and then pull them down and back. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. Really feel your muscles contract. Tuck your toes down under and lift your knees up, rounding your spine and down. Inhale and exhale. Push. One, two, three and down. Inhale and exhale. Push. One, two, three and back down. Inhale and exhale. Tuck and scoop and lift and back, inhale and exhale, up and down. And in this position, we're just gonna kinda go rock forward and back and warm up our wrists and our hips and just getting a good feel for our range of motion into our hips and knees. And then from there, drawing the navel to the spine, keeping a nice, um, I guess, um, roundness between your shoulder blades. Bring your whole body up forward a little bit. Straighten the left leg. And I want you to pretend like there is a cup of um, hot water on the small of your back and you don't want to spill it. So draw the navel into the spine. I want you to slowly lift up with control and down tiny little pulses. Exhale up and inhale down. Exhale up and inhale down. Pilates is so much about tiny little movements with breath. Exhale up and inhale down. Exhale up and inhale down. I'm feeling a lot of control and stability through my core. And notice how even if there was a cup back here, I have a pretty good control over my body to where it's not going to spill over. Two more. One and down. And let's straighten the right leg. Point your toes, the whole length of the leg engage. Point your toes, lift up and down. I'm having my hand up here just so I can make sure that this is flat and it's not moving all over the place. Three, four, five, six, moving from the core, navel to the spine. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, and back. This time, I want you to take your leg out to the side, do the best you can, and keep this nice and flat, if at all possible. And you might get a little cramp in your leg, especially because you haven't been moving your legs in this range of motion, or in this range. So I want you to just dare to lift it up slightly and back, and you're gonna feel a, a lot of core activation here. And make sure this is nice and flat. Inhale and exhale, up and down, inhale and exhale, up and down, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and bring it down. 
And yes, you're going to feel it into your hips. I felt a lot in the, my core, and I felt a lot of weight onto that same side. So keep that in mind, and make sure you keep everything nice and tight drawn in. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my right leg over to the right. I'm going to inhale and exhale, lift up, one, and down, and two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Now I'm going to sink my hips back, I'm going to kind of come forward, and back, and forward, three, and two, and one, and back. I'm going to go ahead and come to a seated position here. I'm going to sit loosely here. What I want you to do is I want you to press down toward the floor and see if you can raise your neck all the way up and down. I want you to inhale all the way up and down. Exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. Let's sit up nice and tall. We're going to roll our neck all the way to the right, and then roll it all the way to the left. Let's rest our hands on our knees all the way to the right. And then all the way to the left. Three. Two. And one. And back. Raise your arms up overhead. Interlace your hands. Pull up. And bend over to the right side, gaze up toward the left side, opening up that left side, and back up. And bend over to the left, opening up toward the right chest, and back. And again, left, look up, and back, and right, and back. Good job. This time I'm going to be seated here facing you. What I want you to do is see if you can balance on your sit bones. See if you can hug your knees up towards you, sit up nice and tall, and bring your knees up or feet up so that they're in line parallel to the floor, sitting up nice and tall. See if you can balance here, really drawing the navel to the spine. Don't let everything pooch out and see if you can hold it. It's probably a lot harder than it looks. Five, four, three, two, and one. And gently place the feet down, hands behind you, fingertips toward your uh, cheeks. Lift your bottom up all the way up and gaze back and down. There's one and two. Lift and gaze up and down. Three, lift up, gaze up, and down. Four, and down, and five. All the way up, and down. I'm going to go ahead and come all the way onto my back. I'm going to roll all the way down nice and slow with control. And come all the way to a lying supine position. I'm going to go ahead and keep my knees bent. Lift your left leg up. And then I'm going to take it all the way out to the side and back. And see if you can keep everything nice and stable. Two. And every time the leg goes out to the side, I want you to feel your core contract. Every time you take the leg out to the side, what I don't want is for you to shift your whole spine, right? So this is holding nice and steady. Exhale and inhale. Four and five 
I think I hear the puppy. Do you hear the puppy? Six, seven, and eight. And back. And boy, that doesn't look like a lot, but that does create a lot of core strength or stability, or it requires a lot of stability from your core. So take it out and back. So let's exhale out and inhale back with control. Exhale out and inhale. Four and back. Five and back. Six and back. Seven and back. And eight and back. Good job. Both knees up to your chest. And let's keep a gentle bend. If you don't, you feel too tight in the back of your legs, feel free to keep a slight bend in your knees. My full length of the arm is going to be pointed or pressed down onto the mat, keeping my nice open chest. Just tuck your chin slightly under so there's no tension in the neck whatsoever. I'm going to gently lift my heels up toward the ceiling and back. And when you do that, you see, notice how I didn't move anything. I want the navel to the spine, which means I want nice, compact abdominal muscles. I don't want things to pooch out and in, right? So really keep that honest. Lift up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and draw the knees to your chest. I'm going to place my hands behind my ear. I'm gonna look down at my belly button to make sure it stays nice and flat. Keep my elbows nice and wide. We're gonna do crisscross. I'm gonna reach my right elbow to my left knee and back and the other way with control. And you only lower the leg only as far as you can keep this nice and stable. Every time you lower and you're arching your back like that, that's a clear sign that you, you're going too far. So please be honest with yourself and keep your back safe. One. Exhale up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and back. I'm going to pull my knees up to my chest. Oftentimes, if you feel a lot of strain in your neck, that's probably because you're using a lot of the anterior or forward muscles to kind of do this. So I advise you to tuck your chin under. Or if you need to, support your head behind your ears and look down at your belly. And you should feel like you can be here like for a long time without straining that neck. Okay? Draw the knees up to your chest and relax. And then I'm going to leave my knees like this. I'm going to pull them towards you as you inhale. And then I'm going to exhale out and see how far you can go without arching your back. Exhale and inhale. Three. I have my hand here to make sure that I have no pooching going on. Three. Four. Tuck your chin under. Five. Six. Seven. Nice and slow. Eight. Nine. And ten. And let's straighten your legs all the way up. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. I'm sorry. Flex and point. Flex and point. And let's do the opposite foot. And you should feel this nice stretch on the back of your legs as well as on the front side of your shin. And breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, 
and one. All the way up. See if you can grab your toes, or if you need to bend your knees, that's fine. I'm gonna choose to keep my knees straight, flattening the low, low back onto my mat. And then I'm gonna see if I can spread my legs wide, stretching into my hips. Bend your knees if you'd like, and stretch alternating knees out to the side, getting into those adductors or inner thighs. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. And bring your knees back. We're just gonna allow your knees to go one side and the other side. And just loosening our low back. Two. And three. I feel a stretch on the front side of my hips into my low back as well as the front side of my body, especially my quads. Three, two, and one. Good, I'm gonna roll over all the way onto my left side and sit up. So as we come to a close, what I want you guys to remember is, posture is nothing more than a strong core. As long as you have strong core, it'll align your whole spine the way it's supposed to. It'll make your walking a lot less heavy. It'll be a lot more efficient. It'll open up all the channels in your body, create a lot more vascular supply or create or give a lot more vascular supply to your brain, lift that foggy brain, improve digestion, decrease our immune activity. So everything is linked to this. So I hope you guys come through and visit this exercise more often. I'll be sharing more of the core stability exercises with you, a lot of Pilates infused exercises. So I'll see you guys next week.